Hey everybody, it's me, Greg Manorino. How are you today? It is Thursday, September 27, 2018. Year is just flying by. All right, here we go. Uh, first of all, I did manage to get my live stream working. And yesterday, first time I ever did it. Had a lot of fun with a whole bunch of you. I promise to do that again. Um, maybe even later today, no promise, but I will let you all know it was uh, it was definitely an engaging experience, and I got to answer a lot of questions, and I'm going to continue doing that. All right, now let's uh, let's talk about this market here. As I am doing this video blog, stocks are higher, not by much, higher nonetheless. Uh, a lot of this <laughs> is because they're in there again propping up that bond market it's incredible go have a look at this for yourself there's a link in the description of this video to my website traderschoice.net click on that right side of the page under the chat room just go look at it um, we have seen the US 10 year yield in the past two days go from just over 3.1 to 3.06 that's a huge move in just, well, not even two days. Uh, but it's the epic amount of bond buying which is pushing the yield lower. Let's just step back a moment and, and see what the effect of this is. The financial stocks, the banks, are down from yesterday. Um, I would imagine most people would have thought that bank stocks would be higher. As a matter of fact, that's what they were talking about on the Confederacy yesterday. Oh, we're all expecting bank stocks to take off with this rate hike and promises of more hikes to come. Well, that didn't play out here. Uh, I do still own credit spreads on the long end, Goldman Sachs and Morgan Stanley. Both of these expire tomorrow. Um, and both of them are doing well. And a, a, a catastrophe would have to occur for these to uh, not make money for me. So anyway, but what I'm trying to get at is here, the market is not believing the Fed. The market is smelling something else, meaning they understand that if this is the Fed that's doing it, is going to continue to prop up this bond market, suppressing rates. Banks rely on rates going up. You understand? So this is pressuring the financial sector, um, and that's um, that's just the way it is in this environment now. Uh, it, it's going to remain like this for as far as the eye can see. It's not going to stop. So the dollar, the dollar is stronger right now as I am doing this. And would you be surprised to find out that it's putting pressure on gold and silver? I don't think you would. Unfortunately, that's just the way it is these days. Uh, there's no, I'm not even going to go there anymore because it's just too much. It's really the truth. So the story right now is two things. The pressure on the financial sector because the market does not believe the Fed. The Fed, look, they have no credibility at all anymore. They say they're going to do something. They don't do it. Oh, we're going to hike X amount of times. They, they hike half that amount of time. Powell yesterday talking about a December hike. We'll see about that. I, I haven't made my decision on it. And then three hikes next year. Yeah, the market doesn't buy it. The financial sector is telling us, yeah, okay, put up or shut up. So um, anyway, that's the way I see it right now. Uh, the dollar is the fly in the ointment here. Um, and although they are buying up those bonds and you know there's that compensatory mechanism that exists here that I covered a million times. There's going to be a moment where that stronger dollar uh, is not going to be able to be offset by bond yields dropping. And then we're going to run into a problem. You all know that. Um, but for now, it's still the same rigged charade. And um, we know exactly what we need to do. All right, so with that said, we will reconvene later on today. Let's watch all this stuff, the bond buying, the, the propping up of the bond market, forcing cash into stocks. It's so fake. It really is. All right. See you later.